Zoho Sites tutorial for beginners step by step. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create our website using Zoho Site. Did you know that Zoho provides us the opportunity to create our own website? Yes, they are. So in order to get to this page, we need to input something like this Zoho sites in any search, for example, for Google, and we'll come to this page because basically Zoho, uh, they have like a lot of different services and sometimes it could be hard. So we can also like find it right up here somewhere. But uh, the easiest way is just to input Zoho sites in the search bar. So let's click on assess Zoho sites in the central part here and we'll come to our like creation part where we need to set up our website name. Let it be like the name of our channel and pick your website category. So in this case, I'm going to create a portfolio website, but you can easily choose anything you need. So like general business, restaurant, education, sports events blah 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 so let's click on choose team and we'll come to our like uh, template uh, template settings where we can find a lot of stuff we can easily customize um, for our own so uh, in this video I'm going to use I think uh, this one here because as for me this is pretty cool and it's also like single page so it's uh, suits for me the most so we can just simply click on customize and then we'll come to our like uh, customization page where we can change the uh, color palette uh, as you can see it was set like this but we can easily change it to like yellow plus black plus like white colors and also we can change the set of fonts we can easily change it in our editor page but if we need to customize it like before even starting editing we can do it right up here we can also change a uh, header and banner style so let it be like uh, in header style let it be like this and in a banner style let it be like this here so after that we can just simply click on finish and in a few seconds everything will be done it depends on the server's capacity and so on so all we need to do is just uh, wait for a little it uh, doesn't take a lot of time so here we are on our editing page we can find some like uh, tutorials here but i won't do this so in the top of the screen there is like main menu where we can do we can add some elements we can save our website we can undo or redo some options we can deal with pages so we can easily like uh, change the order add new pages here so as you can see we can add like directories here or delete uh, the pages we already have so let's deal with it a little bit later also there's like settings where we can do some other stuff we general like logo social preview image like member portal and so on so if you need to like add some additional things we can easily do it here so we can customize it we can manage the content we can comment box we can like manage blog uh, add some integrations configure and so on so uh, in order to like customize all we need to do is just to find the stuff we need to change for example this text here and after that we'll can click and we'll come to this page where we can find a lot of information firstly the font size and so on so we can easily change so let's input the name of our channel and here i'd like to change like uh, tutorials Everything is pretty easy. We can change the font if we need. We can change the style, make it italic, underlined, and so on. So basically, it's pretty easy. We can also like click here and add some element. We can add like heading, paragraph, a lot of stuff. So let's try to add maybe some icon here. And I'd like to add like icon, change icon. And let's try to find something which is suitable as for tutorials. Let it be this one here click on save and it was successfully saved uh, what can we do uh, basically we can just try to replace it but sometimes it could be hard because this like website uh, builder doesn't provide the opportunity to like place it anywhere it's like has its own structure so sometimes it could be hard 
Uh, in this case, we can easily deal with every single part. For example, this with button, what can we do? We can change the text, we can change the link, where does it lead? So, uh, so we can easily, for example, change the text to subscribe to my channel and lead it to the YouTube channel where we can like simply person can subscribe. We can easily deal with background here. So as you can see, we can like add the background color, add the hover, effect we can add some animations here add some css code even if we need or we can preview it on desktop tablet and mobile and in this case we can deal with every single part for example with this like uh hero slide we can easily change the um, like change image we want to do we can easily upload like our own image here so we can just simply click on upload for example use this one for example here click on open and then we can easily like save this one as a color so it doesn't fit basically but this is a way of how can we uh, change the for example background color for our slide let's change it back and uh, when everything is done uh, we can manage it how does it looks like and then just click on save or even click on publish in the right top corner here so as you can see a subdomain has your preferred name along with the zohosite.u extension it's also free so here we can write how would we like to see our domain let it be like helper man one two three one two three one two three then just click on publish and in a few seconds our like uh, it was successfully published so now we can view it on our like uh yeah in the world wide web so it looks like this pretty cool as you can see all the changes were successfully changed we can easily switch between pages we can easily use like navigation here and it's pretty cool the easiest way of how can we create the website they also have like paid versions as you can see for the zoho sites with their zoho store they have like uh, five euros per month and 17 years per month uh to like work with the zoho sites and as you can see the prices are not that high so you can easily try it for free and then we can decide is it like uh, suitable and helpful as for us there is like some differences here but you can easily start for free and then just decide what is suitable uh, when like as for you so we can easily come back and as you can see now we have like our website here we can create a new website this is our basically like dashboard so the creation of the other websites is in the same way so basically it's pretty easy and i tried a lot of different like uh, website builders and as for me this is pretty like intuitive and easy to start with so i suggest you to try the zoho sites really and basically that's all for this video if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below and uh, i hope this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day and goodbye guys